Hi, I'm Scott Dorn at Marine Max in Dallas, and I'm standing here inside a Harris 220 Sunline. Now, this boat has what they call a CW walkthrough or center walkthrough. So, you'll notice it doesn't have a big L shaped bench seat, doesn't have the dual loungers or anything like that, but if you want to seat the most amount of people possible in a 22 foot boat, this is the layout that does that because it's bench seating all the way around. Now, one of the hidden benefits of a lot of seating is that there's storage underneath all of your seats. So by doing more seating, you get more storage. All of the seats all the way around the boat have these big double hung hinges on them. It's nice because it allows the hinge to open all the way so that you can get down into your storage without having to use one hand to keep the seat up. There is also storage built into all of your backrests. And they, just like all the other hinges, they do open up all the way to give you nice access to get down in there. Moving forward to the helm, we started doing an upgraded sound system on all of our boats about halfway through last season. This was ordered after that, so it does have the pole head unit in it. The nice thing with this Polk unit is it has Bluetooth. So if you keep your music on your phone like most people do anymore, you can just stream your music directly from your phone to your head unit and listen to your music that way. There is also an auxiliary plug and a USB port here in your little glove box. That way you can keep your phone, your phone plugged in so that it stays charged for you also. And that's located right here next to you. It's fairly watertight. That way you can plug your phone in, keep it charged, and stream your music directly from there. Because this boat seats so many people, and it is a tri to boat, it does have a ski lock. So this ski locker is deep enough. It'll hold your wakeboards, your water skis, your noodles, your floats. Uh, if you want to put fishing poles down there, certainly plenty of room to do that. It also has an automatic bilge pump in it, so if you do get water in it, it will automatically pump it out. And you can also see a gas strut here. It'll keep the lid up for you while you're out there in the water, so you don't have to, again, hold something open with one hand and try to get something out with the other. It'll also keep it from slamming down on you and catching your fingers down in here while you're out on the lake. Also, because a lot of people do like to do some fishing, we have one of this boat with an aerated live well installed up in your port corner seat. That way, if you want to use it for a live well, you certainly can. Although it's insulated, so it also works really well as a cooler. The flooring on this boat is a woven teak. So we stopped doing carpet on boats because we realized from listening to our customers that the carpet's harder to keep clean. It gets mold on it. It gets mildew on it. This is a lot easier. So in order to clean this carpet, you literally just throw some clean water on it, take a deck brush to it, hose it off, and you're done. You can also pull it through a car wash on your way home and use a sprayer to spray it out. Moving back here to the back of the boat, there is a big ski pylon. It's heavy duty enough that if you want to pull the two or three person tubes from it, absolutely no problem, as well as a Mercury 150. So this is going to be 150 horsepower, fuel injected four stroke. Starts with a turn of a key, no choking, no priming, no mixing gas and oil. What it basically means to you, the consumer, is you turn the key and you go boat and have fun. I'm Scott. This boat is here, it's still in inventory, and we do have a couple more of these also. My office is the second one on the left. Drop in and see me or pick up the phone and give me a call. All my contact information is at the end. I look forward to talking to you soon.